All right, guys, it's Josh Thackeray here reporting for Spurred on TV. We've just beat Watford 1-0 at the lane. We, the score does not justify the performance. I mean, listening to the fan cams there, you know, I didn't hear any negative comments. There wasn't any real player that stood out that shouldn't have maybe started. Maybe Chadley was a bit rusty. He didn't quite seem to impact the game as he normally does when he comes on. But first half, we came out. First five minutes, knocked it around, got a feel of the game, and it was just chance after chance after chance. Davis had a fantastic chance. Uh, actually, had a couple of first ch uh, chances in the first half. Harry Kane's had a chance when he's come over his shoulder. And there's been two or three other chances, which were not probably guilt edge, but you know, one or two of those on another day could have gone in. So we've absolutely battered them in the first half. We've gone into half time, frustrated that we haven't actually put one in the back of the net. Watford have gone in thinking, fantastic, it might be one of those days for Spurs where we can nick a 1 0. And I'm sure some of the fans at half time just listening in and around me were saying, it's not one of them days, is it, where we absolutely batter the opposition and then we end up with a nil nil or even losing 1-0 like we did against Newcastle and like we did against Leicester. So coming out half time again it was just you know can we continue that momentum, those chances, that fluidity and we did to be fair we were just all over them especially down the left hand side. Uh, Lamella had quite a few options to cross it, Ericsson there were a few balls that went in and around Harry Kane, there was a penalty moment which from my view it did look like a penalty, Gomez did take Harry's legs, penalty wasn't given, again you're thinking is it one of them days corners coming in left and right and then there was a substitution where Ali came on uh, for Chadley and there was a real kind of you know roar around the ground we felt like obviously one of our better players are coming on and it was then can Ali make the difference and boy did he make the difference ball came down the left hand side and it was a case of putting it in the box nice and quick with the right accuracy in it or pulling it back you know we do tend to walk the ball around sometimes when we can cross he did the right thing outside of the foot straight in between the penalty spot and the keeper and there was Kevin Trippier probably man of the match just flying in rewardingly putting it in the back of the net 1-0 everyone's calm and then it's a case of can we finish off can we kill the game off or can we be stubborn and difficult enough to win 1-0 and we were difficult and stubborn enough. There was a couple of chances that Watford had a couple of heart and mouth, heart and mouth moments where Troy Deeney got a ball over the shoulder and I think it was Kevin Wimmer who just glanced ahead of back to Lloris and you started to feel the confidence and momentum and this is where I was looking for a nice one nil. and one nils are not the best score lines but you know to win one nil, I think that's the boys are going to be confident they're going to feel that you know winning ugly or finishing ugly is sometimes needed we had a couple of chances after we went one nil up and we we're looking for that second goal but ultimately Watford didn't really have a sniff talking points Trippier uh, man of the match in the fan cams I think Trippier did do a great job uh, he seems to be pushing Walker out the team game by game by game Davis had a great first half um, Ericsson was quiet and Harry Kane was quiet as well. He did have a few chances, Harry Kane. I think on another day he would have put those away. So, that, you know, those kind of, th 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 those two things were kind of in the back of my mind is, is you know, if Harry doesn't put these chances away, are we going to draw this game? But luckily we've got, you know, scorers all over the pitch, you know, fullbacks, midfielders, and we've done the job. Onwards and upwards from here. Uh, Kevin Wimmer played fantastically as well, uh, he just slotted in lovely and he seems to be coming out, getting more confident game by game, spraying the ball around, it's almost like we don't miss Jan, so that was a, that was a, a, a good performance by Kevin Wimmer. So generally speaking, professional performance, 1-0, fantastic, I'm glad we kept a clean sheet. Next is Man City, can we go there, can we win? If we do win at Man City, the media and the press and everyone else will start talking about Spurs winning the league, especially when you turn over Man City in their backyard. And that's where we'll see, have we got the bottle? Sol Campbell says we haven't. I need to know what you think. Is Sol right or do we have the bottle? I know we've never won a, a Premier League title in a very long time or a major trophy, but it just feels like this Tottenham team has got that bit between their teeth where they get the job done in and out. That's six games we've won now in a row. Man City away next. I want to know from you, are we going to beat Man City? Score predictions, your man of the match. And Nasser Chadli, should he be starting or not? And should Trippier be taking Walker's place? Josh Thacker reporting for Spurred on TV. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Come on you Spurs.